Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Max here and it's Sunday. I have nothing to do and I'm bored. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how I drive for dollars. So you guys are gonna come along with me. But wait, before I go, I gotta tell you exactly what you need to have. A car, right, obviously. Some gas. Your trusty iPhone, make sure it's charged up. And two apps that I use all the time. App number one is Landglide. Landglide shows you real life tax data on who owns the property as you're driving. Key, you need that one, right? It's about 10 bucks a month, but it's well worth it. The second app I use is Deal Machine. It allows me to take a picture of the house, send a message, and a postcard gets shipped off to the owner for under two bucks. You can't beat that. I don't send a lot of mail, so it's worth it. And uh, hey Google, what's the weather? Right now in Winston-Salem, it's 42 and mostly cloudy. Today, there will be scattered showers with a forecasted high of 49 and a low of 41. And you're going to need a jacket. I'll see you guys outside. All right, before we get started, here's some tips that you wanna do. You wanna find your most popular zip codes in your area, and that's the zip codes that people are buying and flipping in, the upcoming neighborhoods, or you wanna find the diamond, I'm sorry, the rough in the diamond neighborhoods. That makes sense? Yeah. Basically, you wanna find the crappiest house in the better neighborhoods. So, and here's another tip. Drive down streets you've never driven before. So I know my two popular zip codes that I like to buy in. So that's where I'm gonna start at today. We're gonna to do this very quickly and I'm gonna show you how to get five or six properties that you need to go back and what to do with them after. All right, cool. All right, as you can see, I'm driving in a neighborhood that I've never been to. It's a nice neighborhood, something I would love to find a wholesale deal or a flip in. Um, and just some telltale signs. You wanna see if the grass is unkept. Right now, leaves are falling, so you wanna see who hasn't raked their leaves. Just kinda of see a house that is abandoned and looks out, out, out of place, kind of. And then if it looks out of place, more than likely, it's abandoned. And that's when you wanna pull out that Land Glide app and look up the property tax information, jump out, take a picture of it with the Deal Machine app, Booyah, that postcard is gonna be sent off the next day. And, and that's what you're looking for. So I'm gonna keep hunting. If I find something, I'll let you guys know here in a second. Okay, so I've been driving about 10 minutes now, 10 to 15 minutes, and I found a house in a cul-de-sac not too far from an area that I've recently did a deal at. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm not going to show you this exact deal because I'm actually going to work it, but I'm going to show you the process that I'm doing. I'm going to record my uh, iPhone screen so you can know what to do out in the field as it goes on. But right now I'm going to take a picture of this property and I'm going to uh, send out a postcard to the owner. In meantime, tomorrow morning I will add this to my skip tracing list, which my VA will skip trace this and then my outbound person will call this list and it would move a front ahead of anybody else or any other call because this is what I considered ready to go. Um, some telltale signs <clears throat> that I find on the tax data because I'm using Landglide. Um, this house was last purchased in 1986. Um, the, the owners does not look like they live here. They live in the city, but they have a P.O. box as their mailing address. Total value is 147, so about 150, so we're at the medium price cost. It's everything that I think I would need. And um, let me see, I'll just show you the property real quick. Can't really see it, but has a window unit AC. The grass and the bushes are not well kept for this area, so that's kind of not normal. Um, so that's how you find one. Here goes one. And there's many more out there, so we'll keep going and going and going. And if I find more, I'll let you know. So I'm gonna take a picture of this one and send out that postcard. All right, guys, so I am back at my office and I just want to show you guys, I'm gonna be doing my iPhone screen recording, but you're gonna see it pop up over here. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go into my Land Glide app 
And let's just say you're driving along, going down the road, and you find this house right here on the corner that is vacant. What it does is it highlights it, and then you can click on the bottom part. It's gonna show some information more. It's gonna be available at this county link at the bottom. You're gonna hit this county link, and it's going to give you some information, more information than you need. So this, this is the county GIST geographical information system. You'll hear me talk about this a lot, okay? So as you can see, if this house was vacant, it's owned by one person. Her name is Barbara Reese. Um, she, the property address and the mailing address are the same, so more than likely she lives there. Or but if you verify that it's vacant, you know she doesn't. So sending her mail will not work. Ding, 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 right? She bought it in 1988. Tax value is 139, so it's probably worth about 150, 160. The last transaction amount was zero. So whatever that means. So you'll take that information, and what I like to do is I just screenshot it so I can go look up this information later. So that's what you do with that part of it. Um, there's also the app called Deal Machine I was telling you about. Um, you wouldn't want to use it on this one because you're going to take a picture of the property and it's going to send the mail to this address here. So what I'm going to do is go around and I've gathered today, I gathered like seven properties. I do this on every single property that when I'm out and about and I'm bored and then I will skip trace these individuals and have them cold called or if the address, the mailing address is different than the actual house address, then I will send them a postcard from Deal Machine and I will skip trace them plus call them. So we're being very proactive when we find deals like that, okay? This vlog is gonna be very short. It's Sunday, I'm not doing much, but I also just wanna go chill. So this is kind of the end of this vlog. And like always, if you haven't, subscribe over here, right? And then watch the next video. It's like somewhere over here. All right, guys, I really appreciate you and I will see you in the next video soon. Thanks.